In this installment, we will cover iSCSI Initiator Basic Configuration and Disk Online Initialization and Formatting. On a previous video, we created the two LUNs shown here. We also created the iSCSI target film and assigned the LUN footage to it. On this installment, we are going to enable these LUNs on our computer. iSCSI Initiator Basic Configuration. The following steps must be made using the computer where we want the LUN to appear as a disk drive. On your PC, press the Windows key and type iSCSI and press Enter. This is the iSCSI Initiator. It establishes and maintains persistent connections with your ReadyNAS iSCSI target. The initiator issues commands via TCP IP to the iSCSI target to let your system have access and manage the data blocks that are allocated for the LUN or LUNs that are in a particular group. The iSCSI initiator has many features, some of which we will cover on more advanced future videos. But for now, enter the IP address of the ReadyNAS where we created the iSCSI target and LUN. And then click on Quick Connect. That will connect your PC to the iSCSI target on the ReadyNAS. It's really simple. iSCSI Disk Initialization and Formatting. We must activate and format the iSCSI targets we just connected to this PC. Press or click on the Windows key and type Computer Management. Wait for the console to come up, and when it does, click on Disk Management. The iSCSI target and the LUN appear as a disk that must be brought online and formatted. We can see that the volume has the size that we gave the LUN. To bring it online, Right-click on the box to the left of the volume, and then click Online. Right-click again, and then click on Initialize. GPT is a newer standard for large disk capacities, up to 18 million terabytes and 128 partitions on a disk. MBR is an older standard that has a limitation to 2 terabytes and only 4 partitions per disk. Basically, use MBR for volumes that are less than 2 terabytes and GPT for volumes that are 2 terabytes or more. And then click OK. The disk is online, which means we have full access to all of the blocks in our LUN. Now we must format them according to this operating system's file system. These are the few steps for the format. We are going to do it using NTFS. Right click on the unallocated area and then on New Simple Volume. Then click on Next. We are going to use the full capacity of our LUN in our disk. You can assign an available letter to it. Using the NTFS default allocation size, we are going to label the disk Footage. That's it. We are ready to format this disk. Click on Format and wait for the formatting to complete. It may take a while depending on your system's speed. Once the formatting is completed, the iSCSI LUN will open. It will look like a disk drive looks. It will behave like a disk drive behaves. Remember that the ReadyNAS is not in control of this space. Your system is. Let's take the sounds LUN and quickly assign it to the film target. Select it. Select Assign, choose Film, and Apply. Easy. The Sounds LUN requires to be online, initialized, and formatted. To do that, rescan for disks. Click on Action, and then rescan disks. There it is. It also needs to be brought online, initialized, and formatted. Let's do that fast. Right click on the box, click online. Right click again and click on initialize disk. Select MBR, OK. Right click on the volume, select new simple volume, 
and that gets us to the new simple volume wizard. Click next, and then next, next one more time, and name this volume sounds. Then click next, revise everything's okay, click finish. This begins the formatting of this disc. As before, the disc will open, ready to receive data. You can see that the two discs, 100 gigabytes each, look and function as if they were directly attached to the system. Let's put some data into them. Here's our footage. And here's our audio. You can work on these disks as you normally would. You must make sure that your network is up to the task. If your network is slow or congested, you will experience latencies that may not be optimal. On the next installment, we will destroy the iSCSI target and LUNs. Stay tuned. For this and other topics, please go to community.netgear.com.